All right, so here we finished with our side. Uh, we're going to go straight into our assembly model. So I'm going to go ahead and hit place. I want to put in the, the box and the side that we just created. Right click and say OK. We only need one of each. And uh, there's only one right way to put this thing in here. So I'm going to rotate this cube around where I can see it better. And I want this flat edge to be against this flat edge here as a mate constraint. If that flips upside down, I just want to tell it that that is actually the bottom, so it should be touching this part over here. And that this edge should be touching this edge over here. Hit Apply. Go back to our home view. And notice that all matches up really nice. Now if I try to put that same side piece on this side, that fold will be going the wrong way. So what I have to do instead is I go back to side, I go File, Save As, I'm going to change this to Side 2. Hit Save, and I'm going to change this fold, so I just double click the fold. See how it was bending to the one side? I'm going to flip it so it bends to the opposite side, click OK, hit Save again, and when I go back into my assembly, I'm going to go place side 2. There's my side 2. Alright. And constrain that flat piece to that flat piece. The bottom needs to be touching the bottom. And this front edge here needs to be touching the inside front edge here. Oh, happy day. You guys are done. This is a really quick and easy project. It's just the three parts to it. Uh, let's go ahead and save that. So we have our box assembly. And since we're already here, let's go ahead and make a new presentation file. Create view. We're going to take that from the uh, box assembly. And how could this come apart? Um, the only way that it should come apart is if that piece and that piece lift up. So I'm going to click the up button. Um, I don't want to click another part by accident, so I could click this blue. Notice if I hover over this blue, this whole thing highlights. It's because this is already selected. I could just click over here on the side. Well, unless I can't. I guess I'll just click the arrow and drag that up that way. Okay. Yeah, that works. I just want to be able to see all three parts. I'm going to click the check mark. If I want to go to animate, I can watch it go back down to uh, where it was before. Not that that helps me any. And I'm going to click save. And that's fine too. We can call that box assembly because this is a presentation file and not an assembly file. All right, say yes to all, click OK, and we're ready for the next video.